Let's start in Ann Arbor. Penn State traveling to Michigan. I love this game this weekend. Love it. Why? Because I'm going to find out finally about both Penn State and Michigan. I think both teams are excellent. Absolutely excellent. But I don't know if I can prove that based on who they've played against. And I don't know if I can prove that based on how well they've played in the games against teams that I don't really think are all that good. Okay? But I know this. Let's start with Michigan. I know J.J. McCarthy's been very efficient. He leads the country right now in passer and passing efficiency, I guess, as far as completion percentage is concerned. So he's playing really, really well. Problem is, can he do it from within the pocket? Because I think Penn State... With how they kind of will collapse the pocket, I'm not sure they're going to allow him to move. I think Penn State's pretty solid in the front seven, and I'm not sure they're going to let him outside the pocket. And so far, most of his hay has been made when he's on the move. He's completing over 90% of his passes when he's outside the pocket. That's absurd. His touchdown interception ratio is four to zero when he's outside the pocket. Now, inside the pocket, he's done pretty well. I mean, it's not like he's a slouch. He's completing 75% of his passes from inside the pocket, so he could do it from in there. But I think he's... Because he goes from a good player to an elite player when he leaves the pocket. So you're going to have to corral that. And the all points bulletin when you're playing against Michigan is always going to be Blake Corum. We know that. That's not news, okay? Blake Corum has 11 rushing touchdowns already in just six games. It's the same total he had last year in 12 games. He's been unbelievable in rushing, all right? Rushing the football, missing, making guys miss, getting to the line of scrimmage, creating explosive plays. He's done so much good. In this offense, I think it's going to be really difficult to corral him if you're Penn State's defense. But we talked about earlier in the week, Penn State and Michigan, two teams that rank in the top seven nationally in defense. I also look at Penn State and say, hey, man, hey, Blake Corum, you're pretty good. Take a peek at our guy, Nicholas Singleton. He's a leading rusher, and he actually averages over seven yards a carry, and that is actually a yard higher than that of Blake Corum. He's one of only three guys in college football that are averaging more, or he's one of only two guys in the Big Ten, excuse me, that are averaging more than seven yards per carry. Him and Mayan Williams, pretty good spot to be in. I love what I've seen from this young man. I actually think the offensive line is quite a bit better than I anticipated as well. Clifford's been fine. He's been solid, can make plays, needs to continue to play smart. I think he's done a good job of that up to this point with the exception of a throw or two here and there. And if he can continue that on the road, I think they have a good chance. James Franklin, looking at him, he's 2-18 and in his career against AP top 10 teams. Not a mark that you'd love. Both wins also came back in 2016. He's 1-5 and against AP top 10 teams when his team is also ranked in the AP top 10. So in top 10 matchups, he has not fared well. However, I'm leaning Penn State. You're thinking, What? On the road, I know, I feel crazy too. But when I watch them, and I think that's secondary, that secondary is the difference. The ability to corral McCarthy is the difference. I lean Penn State here. I think they have explosiveness, and I think their defense is actually a little bit better in the back end than what Michigan has at this point. That's saying something too, because I really like Michigan. This can be a great game. If nothing else, take the points. All right, that's the way I look at it. Hey guys, it's Greg McElroy. Thanks for watching Always College Football. Make sure you like, rate, and subscribe to ESPN's YouTube channel and wherever you listen to your podcasts.